Hello everyone, welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Tonight for supper, I want to make, I brought up a couple of turkey thighs, one of the cheapest things you can buy in the store versus maybe turkey legs. <laughs> but I want to cook them, but I want them smoked. And I don't have a smoker up here like I do at home. And that one runs on electricity. So when I do make one up here, I want one that is completely, needs no electricity. But what we're going to do is do it a little bit more primitive. We're going to use the campfire that I've had burning today that's down to just coals now. And I'm going to show you how you can smoke something. And it's pretty simple to do. Uh, I'm just smoking it here. I might finish it in the Coleman Camp oven or I might drop it down on the coals later and cook it. But right now I just want to get a good couple hours of some good smoke to get in there and flavor it. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so as you can see, I've burnt this fire for a long time today, and it's burned down to just some hot coals. So what I want to do is take and get this wood out of here and on the side. I'm actually going to put some other logs on the outside here. I'm going to get this around the whole side, and then you'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, now that I've got this built up, everything is away from the fire so the wood isn't going to burn, but the center is real hot with the coals, which is what I want, because when I put the wood chips on there, then they're going to smolder and smoke this meat. So we're going to put the grate on here right now, and let's run inside and get those turkey thighs ready. I'm going to have a nice opening here so I can add more chips if I want to. And we're going to put a couple more logs over here, as you'll see, and uh, I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so we got our cheapy turkey thighs here. What I'm going to do is just take and put a little seasoning on them. Okay, after I get those seasoned up, I like to come after it and put a little bit of Italian salad dressing on there. really seems to give it a little bit of zest when you cook it. And it also makes the skin on the outside. When I use when I do it at home, it really seems to darken up the skin a little bit, so. All right, let that sit for a couple minutes while we get that uh, our homemade smoker going, and then we'll pop them on. Okay, so now that I've got this built up here, now I'm gonna take and put these, like I said, our maple chunks. put them on there you can see them are starting to smoke a little bit and like I said I can add some more in here and now I'm going to take and add another log over the top here Now we're just going to take pine boughs and cover this up to kind of hold that smoke in. I just went out and cut these just a little bit ago. That's why you have to make sure those logs are in there, because if this were to start on fire, you'd have <laughs> not much for any turkey left. Okay, so as you can see now, I got it covered on all sides, and I can see this right from in the tent. I can see this right outside the door. So when this stops smoking, I'll come out here and open up this side over here and I'll add a few more wood chips in there. And we're just gonna let that smoke for maybe, I don't know, a good two hours to get some good flavor in it. Well, it's been in there smoking for, I don't know, a little over an hour now. I've had to put uh, some more wood chips in one time. Uh, the wind is picking up a little bit out here and it's getting kind of chilly, but I'm just gonna let it smoke. Well, it's getting dark out there, so I pulled them off. They were smoking for, I don't know, a couple hours. Now uh, they're not completely cooked through, so I'm gonna throw them in the Coleman Camp oven now, but they smell really good. They should have a nice, rich, smoked flavor to them. 
I'm looking forward to eating these. Okay everyone, so the turkey is done. Just want to take a look at this here. Look at that. I'm going to let this cool down for just a minute and I'm going to give it a little taste to see how much smoke got in there. Meanwhile I've had a uh, when I got up here yesterday, I put beans in a pot, and they've been soaking for a whole day, and now they're on the stove heating up right now, too. Those are great northern beans. They seem to be my favorite ones up here, and then I've got some pieces of pork in there. So they're just starting to heat up. They've swelled up real nice, so they're going to be pretty delicious tonight. Okay, so I'm going to give this a try. <laughs> that is really, really good. I'm surprised because that was a primitive way to smoke it and you guys have watched many videos where I smoke things. You know what else is really good? That Italian dressing on there has given it a little bit of a zest and it's kind of got into the turkey. That is really good. Now you guys can go do that. Just make a little fire, put your the way till it gets down to coals and throw that stuff on there like I did. You'll be very happy you did. Give this a try. That is really good. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.